Now, let's discuss about the one-way exchange pattern. So basically, this one-way message exchange pattern is something where a client will call some method from the service, but it will not wait for the response. Basically, this type of behavior or this type of message exchange pattern is beneficial when you are not getting anything from the method. That is, if the method which have been defined should return a void. So a client should not have to wait for the response and it can proceed for some other task. So let's see what already is written here. Message is sent in one direction only. That is the client send a message to the WCF service. Why? For invoking any particular method. The method which necessarily be returning a void as it is useful when a client requires some action from the service. Action means you're going to perform a task which is not giving you anything. So in that particular situation, the WCF service will not give any other response to the client. Rather, it will just perform the particular action for which a client has invoked the method. For this implementation, what we'll do? We'll pass a parameter is one way in the operation contract and I'll set that to true. It will make the message exchange pattern as one way. So let's see the practical implementation of one way message exchange pattern now. Now to check the one way communication in the message exchange pattern of WCF, I have created one method here in the interface that is void some big task. Some big task means when you will call this particular method, it will be doing some long operations which may take few seconds to get completed. And you have seen like it is decorated with operation contract and right here in the class I have also given a definition where I just halted the execution of this particular program this particular method for five seconds and then I returned the control so let's build this and as we know by default we have re request reply message exchange pattern so let's see how it is going to behave in that situation so here is the client application where first of all I will update the references it is done and let's execute this to check like how the by default request reply pattern works in WCF service so as soon as I'll click here you can see there's a loading process going on for five seconds and as soon as it will be done it will give you message like users loaded successfully alright so as we discussed like request reply pattern is holding the control on the client side unless and until a particular task is done but if I want to perform something in background after a user's interaction I can go for the is one way communication so what I'll do here I'll come to this interface and here right after this operation contract I will decorate it with the is one way and I'll make it true alright since here we will not be waiting for the server response once we'll click on the button it will be going on through background all right so we should not return anything because obviously we are not waiting there to get the value so this method should not return anything so here's some big task i've made this change to one way let's build it again to save the changes to build the changes and again what i'll do here I will just update the references all right so let's run it again and now when I click in this button you see like still it is having thread dot sleep for 5000 milliseconds but as soon as I'm clicking here it is not holding the client window all right so this is how you can perform the background processes in the WCS services using is one way message exchange pattern.